iOS 10 has a bunch of new features that Apple announced a while back at their developer conference. But a lot of people have been playing with the iOS 10 betas, and they found a bunch of cool features that Apple just didn't really have time to announce. So I've gone through this list of these features and put together the six best iOS 10 hidden features. So you might have an iTunes library of 10,000 songs, but do you ever really need 10,000 songs on your phone at one time? The issue though is that how do you decide which ones to get rid of? And then of course the manual process of removing the ones that don't really make the cut. Well, Apple has introduced an optimized music storage feature that you can set a certain amount of storage for your downloaded music and then the phone automatically will figure out which songs you listen to the most and which ones you don't really listen to at all and remove the ones that you don't listen to. Uh, you can always get them back by just tapping on them and having it download them back from the cloud, but it will save a ton of storage for the ones that you just probably don't listen to very often. Now for those of you that seem to forget where you've parked, Siri now has access to your sensors and can use them to know when you've actually stopped and parked your car. It does that based on the speed that you're going, it assumes you're driving, and then when all of a sudden that speed stops and you end up at a walking pace, it knows that you've parked. Automatically, keyword automatically, it'll put a pin in your Apple Maps whenever this happens to signify where your car was parked. Okay, so this next one is actually three features, but they all pertain to making a better experience for the mail app. So for the sake of this list, we're just gonna pretend they're all one. First up, iOS 10 will now automatically try to help you when sorting your mail into folders. When you tap the folder button at the bottom of a message to signify that you'd like to put it in a folder, it will automatically pop up the folder that it thinks it belongs in. And it does this based on things like the sender, your history, and uh, clues within the heading and subject of the email, as well as some other factors. Taking a note from the desktop version of mail, the iOS 10 version can now actually show you all of the messages in a thread of email whenever you're looking at your message. Also in the inbox view, you can tap on the arrows to the right of a thread of messages to expand it out and see all of the individual emails within that thread. And lastly, iOS 10's mail will now also determine whether you're on a mailing list when you receive emails. And if you are, it will actually put a really neat, convenient little unsubscribe button at the very top uh, and then automatically try to unsubscribe you from said email list. Exclusive to the iPad version of iOS 10, you can now actually open two tabs in Safari side by side. To do this, you can activate it by long pressing on a link and selecting open in split view, or you can simply drag a tab to the side of the screen. Another instance of a phone operating system manufacturer gobbling up a feature that they thought was cool from the third party world and then baking it directly into the operating system, photos can now be drawn on and have overlays without needing a third party app. So you can do this directly in messages right before sending a photo by selecting the photo to send, then tapping it to preview it, and then tapping the markup icon at the bottom left of the screen. You can also do this directly in photos by tapping on a photo, tapping edit, then tapping markup. And lastly, a big one for me. If you have a 3D Touch enabled iPhone, you can now 3D Touch on the X at the top right of your notifications to get a clear all button. There you guys, a few hidden features in iOS 10 that I thought were pretty cool that Apple didn't mention at their convention. If you guys were pleasantly surprised by any of these or found any of these particularly useful, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if there are some iOS 10 features that you found, maybe because you're playing with the beta, that you think other people might not know about and could benefit from, please leave that in the comments below as well. It'll help other people out. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe 
to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.